First of all, first of all, let me say um, thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you uh, to all the fans. Thank you, New York, for giving Ryan all the love, all the love he deserves. Yes, sir. Everybody said, oh, this fight doesn't belong on the East Coast. And this. Look at the arena. Pay-per-views are going to be through the roof. And Ryan Garcia as the champ. Come on, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, okay. Um, thank you guys for uh, coming. But first and foremost, I want to thank Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of the Lords. Um, all glory to him. You know, this is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about is a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt, nobody caring. Everybody looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy. It's a conspiracy. It's this, it's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. And I, I out there put that my reputation on the line, had everybody thinking I was crazy. But at the end of the day, who's the crazy one now? You know, I, I didn't even really want to say this, but it, it's the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, not me. You guys were tripping. I was not I was the one that was actually was sanity. Because I'm like, yo, they're, they're hurting little kids. Let's, let's help them. Like, that's called being a real man. Because I don't give a fuck what people say about me. I walked through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Devin Haney and still drank every day and still beat him. And I still, I did everything. Now, what, what the fuck? Hey, what, what, what happened? False reality, right? Drank every single night. Went out on the first Monday and a Tuesday and drank. And dr what happened? I won. Right? Hey, but hey, but not, hey, not necessarily. Wait, wait, wait. Not necessarily am I proud of that. But I'm just saying, this is, I, I, it was a statement to show you, you guys can't really fuck with me. That's right. I do whatever I want. I still win. He did, he did um, throw him down on Sunday, though. <laughs> just imagine. I don't know. But. If none of that happened, <laughs> oh, and he stayed in camp for eight weeks. Ooh. Well, I did do that, but I just, I just <laughs> no, drank from that. that. <laughs> just imagine. See, use your imagination, because y'all all have great ones. Yeah. yeah just what, imagine what, what, all the things you just said, and I'm going to keep my mouth shut, because this is our one. Yeah. And he would have just but done everything day, man, straight yeah. for eight weeks. He would have been a rat. Yeah. But, like, I, I, I was like, just I'm having fun, man. I, I'm just looking. I'm going through a lot, you know. I got. I, I, I went through a divorce. Um, I Just a lot of shit's been happening to me. You know, outside my life, um, <clears throat> that low-key kind of broke me. So, you know, I, I did what I felt I needed to do to feel okay. Uh, so I drink every day, and I do whatever I wanted. And uh, I'm not proud of it at all. I just pray, you know. Pray for my kids and hopefully they're okay. You know, Henry, Bella, Riley. I hope I made them proud. Um, you know, don't don't necessarily don't necessarily look at me like an example. Look at Jesus Christ because uh, I'm far from perfect. You did. You did. We're gonna start answering questions. the questions. Ryan, uh, first of all, congratulations on this uh, amazing victory. Um, tell us what went through your mind in that first lockdown because everybody from the beginning of the first bell to the twelfth, I kid you not, everybody was just on their feet. But what was running through your mind? Um, is this going to be the moment I stop him? That's just all I was thinking. I shouldn't have put too much pressure on myself to stop him. Because every time I heard him, I just went crazy and I just couldn't finish him. But I, I, at the end of the day, I think, um, what's his name, Harvey Doc? Yeah. I think he was tripping. He should have stopped that fight. Yeah, he should have been it, stopped the first time. It was time. bad. He, he, he was really hurt. And I, felt, I felt bad. I even looked at Bill, 11th round, 12th round. I said, hey, bro, you probably should stop this. But um, he didn't. Yeah, that's it. Uh, radio around here, seconds out. I am curious what you did think overall of the referee's performance, particularly in the seventh round. Horrible. He was a horrible Terrible. round. Yeah, I mean, the guy was holding me for dear life, Terrible. and I found an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free, and I cracked him, and then he took a point away when I cracked him. But he held me, and then, like, I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. Yeah, the, the referee was horrible. I think everybody in the arena saw it was horrible. It should have been stopped the first time. And Devin was holding and holding and holding, and Ryan got a point deducted for him. That was ridiculous. That was crazy. I never seen some shit like that. He was holding me, and I just whack. I whacked him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, "Yes, done." And then, oh, point taken. I was like, "Bro." Pop. Does Terrell Jackson Amsterdam News in the front? Come on, Ryan, and I looked, and he was going, and Oscar has to say two brilliant game plans, Ryan. I don't know where you're you at. Oh. Did you think Haney jumped your power in the first round? 
Oh, come on, come on. Most definitely. I mean, he got wobbled bad. I mean, I, I'm surprised he has such good heart and like recovery. Bro, I cracked him in that first round. I thought it was over. I'm like, I want easy work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. And I was like, damn, maybe he do got a little power. Mike Hoppinger. Ryan, Mike Hoppinger, ESPN. Yeah, I see. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Um, look, Oscar, you said you're in the, in the lead up to this fight that some fighters thrive in the chaos and need that. Ryan, does that help you? Does this chaotic build up really help you focus on? Man, you don't know half of the shit I've been through in my life. Like, <laughs> that shit was nothing. Like, I've been through some crazy ass moments. This whole fight week was crazy. Like, you're crazy. You have no clue. <laughs> Y'all have no clue. Fucking no clue. Shit is hilarious. It'll come out one day. <laughs> I got. I got. <laughs> I swear. I swear. I had brown hair on Monday. Now I got gray hair. Now. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Facts. How does this feel? You know, you were counted out and. It's a monster, monster victory. I mean, it's all right. I mean, like I said, my, me and my coach, he, he's instilled in my mind, literally brainwashed me. What's next? So at the end of the day, what's next? I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, I already knew I could beat him. I was supremely confident. Am I happy? Of course. But at the end of the day, like, I'm all about trying to fulfill the will of God and keep it moving. So what's next? Who's next? And let's go. God did. Hey, Ryan, what's going on, man? Right in the front, right in the yeah. This is Najee from Cigar Talk. Uh, congratulations. Big, big win tonight. Um, this win, you know, in spectacular fashion with all the knockdowns, people have already started clamoring about a tank uh, part two. <laughs> how do you feel just, you know, obviously Tank has to take care of his business uh, with Frank Martin in June, uh, but how do you feel? What are your thoughts on trying to make that happen? That's disrespectful. That's real disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so tell him what's up. Tell him what's about whatever after that. <laughs> that's Frank Martin's trainer, bro. I know I interviewed Derek. Derek knows. I'm just saying this. That's a that's a fight that people are clamoring for. At the end of the day, Tank won't. Tank, Tank, look at. I don't think Tank's gonna beat Frank Martin, but if he did, he wouldn't fight me because I'm moving up. I'm not doing 140. I'm going 147. I can't make fucking 140. I, I never even technically fought at 140. I fought every time at 143. True. My body can't literally go lower than 143. It's impossible. I tried every technique. Can't do it. The only the only way the only way he's gonna fight Tank Davis, it's a catch weight. Right. Okay, at, at 45. Right, right. 44. Just the way they did it to him. Right. Yep. right. Yeah. Fat. Now he's the man. Now he's the face of boxing. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. And Derek James. Derek yeah. James, Derek James, all the credit to Derek James, the father. I mean, come on, you got, you got, you got. I mean, come on. Come nah, on. I, I, how can we talk about Tank? Yeah, yeah. I, I am the face of boxing for confidently. I know I am. You've spoken in the past about the experience in Vegas, the Tank fight, the rehydration clause, the yeah. rib injury, uh, the the catch weight. What did you learn from that experience, and how has it helped you in this fight, and how might it help you moving forward in your career? Uh, that people don't give a shit about you. They'll just throw. They'll just put. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> like people don't give a fuck. So, you know, it's war at the end of the day. So I understood that um, I can't play around even negotiations. I can't let them win in anything, because uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I I pretty much did that for the boxing community and the boxing fans to run that fight despite all the clauses he told me not to everybody and their mama told me not to but i was like fuck that man you guys are boring everybody's boring i'm gonna fight them win or lose i'm gonna run it and i'm gonna his ass in a second but you know i was too weak I, I knew i was gonna lose in the back room i had no power i had no power i had no mind i was dehydrated it was really bad i should i should actually die cutting that weight I, I should have, I really, but God protected me because I was blistering out of my mouth. I, I had no spit. It was like, it was hurt. It hurt every day to make that weight. I shook. I was shaking in the bed. Like, shit was crazy. Um, All right, right there. Mike Feldman with Disney Sports. Um, I know you guys just mentioned Davis. 
Uh, in my opinion, I believe rematch would definitely be a step back. Yeah. Um, I mean, I had a vision to fight Fondura at 154. I just know, I don't know why. I just feel like I could knock him out. I know that's really, really random, but I just feel like I could get a title at 154. Real quick, I fought guys that big before, and I've knocked them out in sparring. Cold. Slept them. So, I want to do it. Shout out Fondura, though. No disrespect. <laughs> Or, or, I don't know. What, what should I do? Look, bottom line is we this. Should rest. Go we rest, should rest, go rest, rest. Yeah, we're going to go back to the drawing board. Rest and rest. We're going to pick the best fight that Ryan thinks is the best get fight. Rest. And we're going to make big fights. We're going to make big, big pay-per-views. That's what it's all about. Give the fans look, what they want. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you the truth. Ryan is going to rest. Had a great win. Let him enjoy it. Enjoy this. And guess what? Ryan's calling all the shots now. Yep. Ryan's calling facts. all the shots now. That's the fact. I know y'all said. He wants to fight. Stop crying. Ah, uh, let's go. But guess what? Right, right. If anybody hey, wants Ryan. to make money, if anybody wants to make money, they have to fight Ryan. And guess what? He's going to call all the shots. That's, That's it. And guess what? He's going to give you an exciting fight every, every single time. time. Every time. Every time. That's a fact. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's time to the boxing section. Mm -hmm. uh, That's one. one for Ryan and one for Derrick James. How important was it to have Derrick James in the corner? Oh, yeah. That's a major key. You know, um, we just have a great chemistry. Um, Derrick, uh, Derrick is a, it's like a father figure, uh, besides obviously my dad, but he's like a father figure. And he always, um, he always uh, pulls me to the side and. He done seen me cry before, and he was like, man, you good. <laughs> He's like, don't worry about that. <laughs> He's like, you're going to get through this, man. You're going to get through this. He said, you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this. Yeah. Trying to make weight. Facts, facts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> facts, facts. <laughs> All right, yeah, one more, one more. Let's go, baby. Okay, I'm so glad. People that I want to mention: Timothy Bradley, Chris Alger, Steve Kim. Maybe Mario Lopez, maybe, <laughs> but they're all pieces of shit. Okay. Oh, shit. And I'm so glad That's right. Lost, and Ryan proved them wrong. Yeah, Timothy Bradley, suck my dick. All right, beautiful. All right. Okay. 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 Okay.